Hollywood actor Stan Nze has found a new means of preparing his wife, Blessing Obasi. On before this one, why I'm quitting comedy in five years? Basketman speak up. This after AY calls out. But before we proceed, welcome to Orange's TV, a platform where we give you trending this and latest updates happening in the world of social media. Now, if you have not already, do subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to like, share, turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime we drop a new video. For all our subscribers, much love from us to you guys. Thank you so much for always staying tuned. And for all our viewers, feel relaxed, enjoy, and stay tuned. Nollywood actor Stan Nze has found a new means of preparing his wife, Blessing Obasi. The movie star was left stunned after he visited a restaurant and was served meal by a robot. It is no doubt that the world is moving fast in terms of innovation, and with the development of some applications and electrical software, some people might be out of jobs in future. Sharing the experience on his Instagram page, Stan Nze alerted his wife that he has found a better substitute in case she doesn't serve him food. He revealed that his plan is to buy the robot in case his wife misbehaves. He said, just in case Lolo won't do Shakara for me, I won't buy this robot. Reacting, Blessing Obasi told him to go ahead with his plans but ensure that the robot runs errand for him. Just make sure you go to your robotic lover for your daily meals. Now she go they go market, cook and serve you, she said. So guys, let's check out the video. Aww, my baby girl. Look, look at me here, look at me here, look at me here. Where are you going to? One, zero. Dear guest, your name is ready. Thank you. First, tray with blue light on is your meal. It's true with the blue light. Don't worry. Okay. I should check if my dish has finished. Bye. 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 I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, you know what? Okay. It's time. It was recorded that Nollywood comic actor William Suchemba also shared similar experience. The father of one took to his social media to express excitement after being served by a robot at a restaurant. A video shared on his Instagram page captured William Suchemba in a restaurant alongside with his friends as the robot served them their meal. William Suchemba made a joke about the development saying he liked the good part that the robot doesn't collect money unlike waiters and waitresses. He wrote, robot now serve food at restaurants. A little story of how a robot serves us at a restaurant and the good part is that it doesn't collect it. Moving on to the next one, Bright Ocha, a seasoned Nigeria comedian and film actor better known by his stage name Basket Mouth, has declared his intention to give up comedy as a vocation in five years. This spiral, his colleague AY Comedian had called him out on their long-standing feud in a recent interview with hit firm Basketman discussed how he had been floundering his business for the previous six years before deciding to return to comedy last year. The funny man admitted he had earned enough money from his profession to support him for the rest of his life. But he also expressed a desire to try new things. He said, for the past six years, I have just been floating. Last year, I told myself and my team, you know what? I'm going back to comedy. I want to do five years and I'm quitting. I am quitting in five years. I've got five years to do this and I'm done. I will still be cracking jokes, but it wouldn't be a professional thing. So if you see me doing any gig, it is maybe I am doing pro bonus, but I will not charge anybody to perform again. I have made enough. I have committed myself to the art enough to take a break or quit. I am now into movie, series and concert production. I want to express something new and I want to be remembered for something else other than comedy. It was recorded that Nigerian comedian and performer A.Y. Macon explained his side of the beef he had with Basket Mouth. During an interview with the media personality, Chude Jidowo, he spoke very openly about the origins of his long-running feud with Basket Mouth. Recall that in 2022, A.Y. claimed that Basket Mouth has an uncontrollable superiority complex during an Instagram question and answer section. He went on to say that he, A.Y., needed to escape Basket Mouth constant childishness for his own sanity. When questioned if he had problems with basketball, AY responded as follows, I don't have issues with him, but people have 
unnecessary issue with you is the price you sometimes pay for being progressive he has been battling with his uncontrollable superiority complex for the longest so avoiding his incessant childishness only become necessary for my own sanity in a recent conversation with you they Ewa clarified the contentious remark by saying his problem with basket math dates back to 2006. He described going to fill in for basket math at an event for which he was due to pay him 30,000. But basket math told him a lie that the event host wasn't happy with his work in order to get out of paying him. Reading his full narration, in 2006, basket math usually we get gigs like wedding, multiple gigs on Saturday, maybe two or three weddings. So what he used to do at that point in time was to attend one then at a point leave the venue and catch up in the other venue and then you will need someone else to stand in for you that was the opportunity i got from him of which i am very appreciative of t date now something funny happened one of the gig per se i got his endorsement to stand in Usually what we get at that time is 30,000 and 30,000 at that time was everything to me. 30,000 would buy me my pack of Indomie recharge card, fuel for my better pass my neighbor generator and then opportunity to pay just one or two people to join me to go do one or two skit that I can just quickly put out. I got this job and the people weren't too happy to see me around the venue because they were expecting basket man to come. Long story cut short, the guy was later happy after the performance, there was an exchange of then I left. Two weeks running, I haven't seen 30k and I was starving. So I decided to ask for the 30k and he said the person hasn't remitted. This person hasn't paid you. Then he said they are not happy because of this and all that. And then me, I was like, ah. Shebi, you tell me, say this person was impressed and happy. Me, I don't care if you give basket mat 100k for the job, but my 30k is my 30k. It was very funny to now hear from them knowing that this full payment has been made long before the event. I said, okay, is that the situation? So I forwarded this one message to the other one and vice versa. So they now started fighting each other and all that. I didn't do that because I wanted to get at basket mat per se. I did that because I was hungry. I was hustling and I needed food on the table at that time. So guys, do leave your comments in the comment section. We would love to hear from you. Let's know what are your thoughts and contributions. See you guys next time in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.